The Barber of Seville is a wily comedy, and uh, I get to play Figaro, who is the title character. Figaro is a servant to a master, but also a master of all servants. He is not only a barber, he, he's a matchmaker. Uh, he's a surgeon, he's a veterinarian, he's, he does all sorts of things. He's a writer from his past life. I think Figaro is a perfectionist in what he does, in that he wants to do whatever job he's given well. I am very much like that in my own personal life. I start thinking about the show and the performance the moment I wake up, and sometimes through the night as well. Uh, <laughs> I find, you know, I'll put on the costume and, I, and my body instantly feels different. Uh, Figaro is dressed as a matador, would be dressed in a, in a sort of a commedia dell'arte way, so very colorful. I'm wearing a vest that's slightly off kilter, which coincides with the makeup on my face. They use a wax paste on this eyebrow, and then they put a very raised uh, black eyebrow up here, which makes Figaro look like he's always very inquisitive. But really for me, the, uh, the shoes are what make the character for me. They have this giant heel, it raises me up and makes me taller, but apart from that, the size of the heel, I find, really pushes my energy forward as well. And so Figaro is a character that um, is very much in touch with the audience. Despite Figaro's manipulativeness, he is, he's using his charm and his wit and his humor to, uh, to engage the audience and have them love him. <laughs>